The Mississippi River is reaching historic lows in other parts of the country, stalling commerce and boat travel. In Louisiana, cities like New Orleans are combating saltwater intrusion. Barry Kine, the state climatologist, explains why water levels are so low and consequences of the shallowing depths. So all over the country, people have been talking about a drought and how river levels are dropping. And the Mississippi River is one of those that is experiencing lower levels of water. Why is that happening? Well, there's drought going on all over the, certainly the western United States, and that drought is gradually creeping eastward. And it's uh, overwhelming the, uh, you know, the Great Plains. Uh, it's affecting Louisiana now. We have some drought in Louisiana at the moment, and it's continuing its march uh, you know, towards the east. Uh, New England is having some drought issues as well. So really almost the entire country is having some issues where we're just not getting enough rain right now is, is, is the, the big problem. Now out west, they're looking at you know, a, a many years to decades long issue, which is you know, some of the problems we're hearing on Lake Mead and things like that. Here, we're looking at stuff that's going on over just the last few months. It just hasn't, we haven't had enough rain uh, across the Mississippi River Basin. And as a result, we're seeing you know, record low flows at some locations, uh, like, like Memphis, for example. And then here in Baton Rouge, we're running, I think the river's about five and a half feet below where it's supposed to be at this particular date. And it's causing some issues. Navigation is an issue. Um, you know, down in New Orleans, they're, they're concerned about the saltwater wedge coming up from the Gulf of Mexico up the bottom of the river, which could ultimately affect the, you know, the drinking water for the city. So it, it has a whole host of implications. Uh, you know, the biggest of which, though, internationally, is the trade on the Mississippi River, all this commerce. There's all sorts of agricultural products that move in and, in and out of here internationally, as well as energy and you know, there's other things as well. So it's, uh, this, this could ultimately affect the supply chains all across the United States and internationally as well. I believe some experts are predicting that that's already happening. There have been some holdups. They've started to dredge the water in certain places to make sure that it's actually deep enough for big boats to be able to travel through. But whenever you hear the word drought, it is very scary. And I'm sure a lot of people are really worried about what the long term impacts are. Are we going to be experiencing this dip in water levels for a long time? Well, I'd say probably not. I think this is just kind of a, you know, a flash in a pan. This is, is it's going to take place for the next few weeks, maybe the next few months. Eventually, this is very likely to recover. In fact, by the time we get into the spring, uh, you know, the water levels are generally higher in the spring and uh, I, you know, I, it's going to rebound. So um, I'm, I'm not too concerned about the Mississippi River at this point. You know, we don't have issues like they have out west where they really have a lack of water. Uh, we tend to, at least in Louisiana, have an overabundance of water. Uh, we're usually trying to get rid of water. So this is not normally one of our problems. Now on the Mississippi River, just so you know, it's normal for the river to kind of peak around the month of May uh, with high, you know, higher river levels, and then it tends to dip around October. So we're, we're in that normal stage where the, the river is, is at a lower point. It's just that it's even lower than it's supposed to be at this juncture, which is causing all these navigation problems. So that, that's essentially the issue right now. Well, we're both standing out here shivering because it's pretty cold outside. And um, like you were saying, a lot of the reason why the water levels are dripping is because of the rain and the lack thereof. But is it going to get worse before it gets better because we're in the fall winter season right now? No, I, I think the best way to answer that is the river is, is uh, reasonably responsive to, to when, you know, when you get some heavy rainfall. For example, if, you know, if we put some heavy rainfall across the Midwest, across Kansas and Oklahoma and Missouri, that water would take about two weeks to finally get down here and have an effect on, on the river levels. So if we can just get returned to some kind of normal semblance of, of our rainfall climatology, the river will rebound relatively quickly, quickly on the order of weeks to months. So it's not like we're going to be stuck in this pattern because of this. We're not going to be stuck in this for, for years on end trying to dig our way out like could happen or is happening out in the western U.S., you know, out on the Colorado River and, and other places uh, in the western United States. We certainly should be concerned, obviously, but uh, the overall pattern on the Mississippi River has actually been increasing uh, runoff and increasing river levels. And, you know, we've had the Bonacary Spillway open a couple of times a couple of years ago, and, and um, you know, high river levels have been more of our problem than low river levels. but. Uh, you know, Mother Nature is constantly throwing us uh, some new twists and turns, and uh, this is just the latest, and right now it happens to be drought, but, but this too shall pass.